Hello, good morning, boys and girls. Let's get ready for our Friday. Stand up and say the pledge. Ready? Okay. Hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and sit down. So hi, how you doing today? We're at the end of this week. Today's the last day. You just have to work hard today. And then we'll have a weekend break. And then next week we only have three days of school, actually two and a half because the last day of school, we're done halfway through. Yeah, it's awesome. We're all, almost taste it. It's almost summertime. Just got to hold on for a little bit longer, okay? Okay, let's get ready with our rules. Let's go through our rules. Rule number one, mouth is quiet. Mouth is quiet. Rule number two, eyes are looking. Rule number three, my hands and feet are to myself. My body is still. Rule number four, ears are listening. And rule number five, if you have a question or you need help, raise your hand. Okay? All right. Good job, boys and girls. Today is Friday. Okay. So it's Friday. What does that mean yesterday was? If today's Friday, yesterday is Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So Thursday, Friday. And then if today is Friday, what does that mean tomorrow is going to be? Do you remember? It's Miss Amy's favorite day. Saturday. Cartoons. Miss Amy loves her Saturday morning cartoons. Do you like cartoons? Okay. Today is the 169th day of school. Sure is. And the date today is the 4th, June 4th. You know what, boys and girls? It would be much prettier if we did it like this, huh? Instead of seeing my chicken scratch. There we go. June now remember, boys and girls, with our at with our date, it's always we're gonna make that red so it matches the boom. There it is. Okay, with our date, we always have the first part, which is our month, which is June. The second part, which is our day, which is the fourth, and the third part, our year, 2021. There we go. So let's all say the date together. Can you say it with me, please? June fourth. 2021. Did you get it? Let's say it one more time so everyone has the chance to do it. Are you ready? We'll say the date together. Go. June 4th, 2021. There we go. Perfect. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, here we go. Here's our calendar. Move our fourth up here. So we have June at the top. We know we're on the right month. We have, the right, we have all our days of the week listed at the, up here. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That way we know what day our date falls on. Okay? So let's do the weekend. We have Saturday and we have Sunday, the 5th and the 6th. And then guess what, boys and girls? This is our last day of school. I'm going to put a smiley face up there because it's a special day. So we only have two and a half days once we come back from Sunday on the weekend. So today is Friday the 4th, and then we have Saturday and Sunday up, okay? Okay. Today's number, we have 160, whoops, nine days that we've been in school. And we only have, we must have, I must have missed this on the last video. We only have two and a half days of school. Well, 
We have 3.5 if you count today. So we'll count today because three and a half point five days left in school. So three and a half days of school. Okay, 69. Add another row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So boys and girls, remember this big number here. This number one here, that is in the hundreds place, okay? And so that's this little, these blocks here, that, those blocks are 10 groups of 10, which equal 100, right? And then the six, the six is in the tens place. That means we've made groups of tens, right? And so we have six groups of 10, which is 60, because if we count by tens, count with me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then this nine over here is in the ones place, which we have nine ones. So if we do our equation, 100 plus 60 plus nine, what does that equal? That equals 169, okay? And that's our number for today, 169. Okay, let's do our song for our days of the week. Are you going to sing it with me? Ready? There's Wednesday, there's Thursday, and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job, boys and girls. And how many days are there in a week? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in a week. Perfect. Let's sing the, the months of the year song. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the 12 months of the year. Let's count and make sure that that song is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. These are the 12 months of the year. That's right. And we are in our sixth month. We are in the sixth month, which is June. All right. Let's go check and see what the weather's doing. All right, so we have Friday the 4th. We know we're on the right day. We have a big sunshine with a little cloud. Let's see what it says. Mostly sunny skies. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. A high of 89 degrees Fahrenheit with wind coming in from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, we have some clouds early. will give way to generally clear conditions overnight with a low of 58 degrees. Winds are still going to be about 10 to 15 miles per hour this evening, so I want you to stay snug and warm in your bed. But it's going to be pretty warm outside. It's 58 degrees, just a little bit of wind, okay? So we have a high of 89 we have a big sun and a cloud. So that means it's going to be very similar to what you want. So let's do this. Boom. Look how pretty that is. And Monday. Monday was pretty sunny. Let's just add a sunshine there. So we can keep that. Well, let's not because I don't know that that's for sure. Because remember, Monday we had... No school. Monday we had no school. There. Okay. Let's go fill in our graph. Or our um, graph. It is kind of a graph. Our high, we're going to say it's still pretty hot outside. It's pretty hot. Nice and hot. We can wear our, our shorts and really well. Something fun for our activity, so let's go to our activity next. All right, boys and girls, so the fun thing I thought we could do for our activity is to do one of these boom cards. I wanted to do some comparing numbers. These are pretty high numbers, but I think we can still make them work because we are at the end of the school year. So 
um, you should just follow along with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare these two numbers and we're going to use our greater signs or um, less than sign or equal to sign. Okay, we have 34 and 74. Okay, so which one is bigger, 34 or 74? 74 is bigger. So 34 is less than 74. And remember, these are like little teeth. <laughs> They're going to eat. So they want to eat the bigger number because that's going to fill their belly the fullest. So this little man is going to eat the bigger number. So he's, so 34 is less than 74. Okay. So we'll submit that and we're correct. Hooray. So now we have 97 and we have 74. Which one is bigger? 97 is bigger. 97 is bigger. So we're going to use our little guy. He's going to eat the bigger number, which is 97. We have 97 and 4. Okay, we were correct. Now we have 61 and 41. Okay, 61 and 41. Which one is bigger? 60 is bigger. So we're going to have our monster eat the bigger number. There we go. 61 is greater than 41. Okay, now we have 83 and 94. 83 and 94. Which one is bigger? This one's a close one. 94 is bigger, so we're going to have our monster eat the 94. Hum, 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 hum. Yummy. So 83 is less than 94. All right, now we have 58 and 47. So we're looking at this first number here, the 5 and the 4. And we know that 5 is bigger than 4, right? Because it goes 4, 5. So 5 is bigger, so that one is going to be the bigger number. So our monster is going to eat 58 because 58 is greater than 47. We got the green circle. Yay, we're right. Now we have 33 and 33. Oh, they're the same numbers. 33 and 33. That means they are equal to each other. They are equal. So we put the equal sign. 33 equals 33. Submit. Perfect. Now we have 51. 25 and 51. Well, 2 is smaller than 5, so 51 is bigger, huh? So our monster is eating the bigger number, 51. 25 is less than 51. 87, 2. Look at this first number of each one. 8, 6. 6 is less than 8, so 87 is the bigger number. And our monster is going to eat the bigger number. So 87 is greater than 62. Oh, right, correct. Hooray. Now we have 70 and 99. Okay, now look at the first number in each one. Is 7 bigger or 9 bigger? 9 is bigger. So our um, monster is going to eat our 99 because 70 is less than 99. Oh, here we go, 56 and 56. Does 56 equal 56? They do, because 56 and 56 are the same numbers, right? They're the same, so they equal each other. They equal each other. Okay, that. All right, boys and girls. Well, with that done, we have completed our video lesson for the day, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys all on Monday for the last two and a half days of school. I'll see you again soon. Bye.